Jyoti has been living with multiple leg fractures for the past decade. In America, she's hoping to find a long-term solution. Tomorrow is the doctor's appointment, so they've come to a temple to pray for a successful diagnosis. कश्मीर में पहाड़ियों पे बर्फ पे घूमने गए थे वो मेरे पापा के गोद में ही थी तो पापा का पैर स्लिप हो गया तो पापा गिर गए तो फ्रैक्चर हो गया मेरा पैर टीम के आगे फूल आ गए भगवान को चढ़ गए कभी-कभी गुस्सा भी आता है कि ज्यादा टाइम नहीं खड़े रह सकते जब जाता इससे मालूम क्या आगे जाओ कर लो सब तो आगे जा ना हाथ जोड़ के बस वहीं से मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि आ, मैं मेरे पैर के वजह से मैं बहुत कुछ नहीं कर पाती हूँ मेरी इच्छा है कि मेरा पैर ठीक हो जाए Jyoti and her family have arranged to meet with a radiologist to x-ray her legs and hopefully advise them on what they need to do next to heal them. In America, the first time I'm going to check up with my doctor. I'm thinking about how to do it. I'm thinking about how to do it. If he's saying a, an operation is the only thing that we can do, then we really need to look at all the options for Jyoti to make sure that she has a good life. If you look at her feet, the shoe size that she currently wears is a size six, but her foot is actually a size three. She has to go up two or three sizes to, just to fit the brace. her equipment in. Yes. So that's why when she walks, she kind of throws her foot. Because the shoe is so big. <laughs> we are here. Are you nervous? Yes. A little bit. When I was in the fracture, I put a plaster on it. And then I tried to do something. Hello, uh, my name is Tim. I'm with the Umgay family. We have an appointment today. Hi, I'm Dr. Chan Ranjan. Hello. My name is Tim. I Tim? represent the Umgay family. Hi, uh, hello. So Dr. Chan. This is Joti Umgay. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Joey. Dr. Chan. Hi. I'm Dr. Brandon Chan. My specialty is radiology. We look at things such as MRI and CT to make diagnoses in the patients as to what's wrong with them. So what brings you here? Bilaterally, she had some fractures about 10 years or so ago. He's saying that um, she had a fracture in the back of her leg, and they've come to you to see if you're medical advice. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is get some x-rays today and see exactly how they've healed and how they're lined up. And then from there, we'll know what the next steps are. They're really open to suggestions at this point because they're really concerned. Sure, I, I completely understand that. So we'll know much more when we get the images. Okay. Usually these things never seem to get better on their own. They can only get worse. So you are worried that because the bones have never healed, she can have very significant damage that may not be repairable because she's so small. Come sit down right here. You too, Mom. We're gonna get you ready for the x-ray, okay? We're gonna have you take off your brace that you have on your on your leg so we can take some pictures, okay? All right. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. She wants cameras out of here. 
right now. I'm looking at x-rays of the patient and I'm extremely surprised that she's been able to walk and to be able to do things that she does for the last several years with this type of fracture that's not healed. Oh my God, does it hurt? Yes. I'm sorry. It looks very painful. Hi everyone. I looked at your x-rays and since the accident, have you had any surgeries on, on your uh, legs at all? Accident ke baad kabhi koi operation hua? No. Uh, no, koi operation nahi hua. Okay. No. You have a fracture uh, that's old of your thigh bone, your femur on the right side, and you also have old fractures of your tibia and fibula, this leg down here, and they're not lined up, so they're malaligned. They're sort of free floating. Because of that, it causes you a lot of weakness and an instability. Her condition is very rare. There are probably possibilities of fixing her broken bones, but I think the most important thing for her is to see a orthopedic surgeon that specializes in her type of disease. It appears to me, based on her bones and her size yes. and the way she looks, that she has something called primordial dwarfism, mm. which is extremely rare, okay. but you would have to confirm that getting a, what they call a genetic panel. Mm. Have you been given a diagnosis for your syndrome? Okay. Is it not that it's 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 Primordial dwarfism is not typically caused by hormones. It's usually a genetic problem. The best thing is, is to talk to a specialist yes. that can deal with these types of issues in terms of her leg uh, yes, and her dwarfism, then to get a geneticist to confirm the diagnosis. What's the doctor who has seen it? India, the doctor who checked it, he said that there are hormones in the body. India, he doesn't think about it in America. Now, we have to do something. So I understand that you're concerned about the risk of an operation given her small size. Right. And in the U.S., they have more advanced type of braces than they probably have from India. Yeah, this is the India. one she's been wearing. It just seems so bulky. That's something that we would look at and just to make sure we give it the most stability as possible without doing an operation that's what you like. At the same time, this causes some atrophy of her muscles around her legs. And right. you can sort of see that some discoloration. There's been poor bone healing because the fractures have never healed. The leg is blue, which means that it's not getting a lot of oxygen, and their foot is swollen, which means that the blood isn't returning back into circulation, sort of pulling down there. Those are not really good signs. One way to do it would be to put a rod in or plate them to line them up and have them fuse so that she can walk around without a brace. Oh, operation success nahi hai, aisa hame the doctor ne. Isle Things can change in terms of treatment that they may find or discover uh, over time and what she may have been offered 10 years ago that are different today. Yeah, and are yeah. certainly different, possibly different in the U.S. than they are in India. And as a result of that, uh, you should explore all the options. It just depends on the risks and benefits you're willing to accept. If we don't do a surgery, what could happen? Well, one of the things that you worry about is that the muscles of her leg has atrophied significantly. It has poor circulation, and uh, as a result, you can have skin breakdown and a blood infection, and that potentially could be life-threatening. Doctor is saying that if you don't do anything about the Jyoti's pain, then it can be an infection, and it can also die. The Jyoti is Yes. And so we want to make sure that whatever we do, it improves things so that she can use that leg for the rest of her life. And we have a specialist to go to the blood check. We are ready for blood check. And when you say it, then we will do it there. So we'll get that ball rolling, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have some really good outcome for her for us for you. life. If I get to go to America, I will get to go to America for my parents. So, I would like to do it. But without operations. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you.